Uh, hey guys, how you doing? Um, today is February 26th, uh, 2012. Um, I'm just coming to talk to you. I've never really done this with any of my videos before, so I figured I might as well kind of talk to you guys, uh, whoever's watching this, I guess. Uh, I got quite a few uh, subscribers and followers now, quite a few fans. So I figure I'd give you a little something, something. Um, first of all, um, I got a little paper here. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit about myself, who I am. Um, like I said, my name is Timothy Terwilliger um, from New Hartford, um, Connecticut. And I, I work full time with intellectually disabled people. Um, I absolutely love it. I just moved up to an assistant manager position. Um, I've been helping people uh, since I was at a very young age. I remember when I was in kindergarten, I used to go to the special education room in my uh, public school and help uh, those in need where I could with my best friend, Jordan Ciccarello. Um, I carried that uh, all the way, I guess, until today, and now that's what I'm doing full time. Um, like I said, I love doing that. Um, there's quite a few things that I love to do and then there's quite a th few things that uh, set things I love to do apart from the things that define who I am I'm very passionate about certain things um, let me take a step back I think that's part of the problem with people nowadays as far as not having uh, some sort of goal or drive or motivation um, if you don't have passion for at least one thing in life then you, you're really just existing. You have to find that, that one thing in life that you love to do, at least one thing, if not more. I know many people, like myself, have uh, m multiple things that they're passionate about and that they love. Um, but if you don't have goals for yourself, and if you don't have that passion, then that means you're content with just being in the same situation you are right now. A lot of people aren't happy with the situations that they're in right now, um, but for example, I, you know, I, I'm thankful and grateful for what I have and my health and everything else. I mean, I can, I can go on and on and on about what I'm thankful for and how lucky I am, uh, to be who I am, where I am and how I came about. But with that being said, don't get me wrong. I will never stop pursuing my goals and my passions. Um, a lot of you guys know me because of my lifting uh, on YouTube. Um, I'll start with there. I am 21 years old. I'll be 22 in two months in April, uh, April 8th. And um, one of my passions is lifting weights. As you probably can tell from some of my uh, YouTube uploads. Um, no, I do not have a Facebook anymore. I deactivated that. Um, I, I don't see the need for Facebook. I know we're in a social... Uh, media kind of era um, but I, I don't I, I had a Facebook I actually had two or three Facebooks but I got rid of it because I you know at least for now right now in my life I don't need one um, anyways lifting uh, when when did it start for me um, when I was about 17 in high school uh, my first time in the gym was weight training for football I went three days a week and actually, uh, when I was 18 years old, my maximum bench press was 175 pounds for one rep. I was only 143 pounds at 18 years old, and my bench press was 175 pounds. I didn't fall in love with it just then. I, uh, I did fall in love with football. I've been playing football since I was a very young kid, about eight years old. Um, but I, I hadn't fallen in love with weightlifting just yet. Um, what happened after that was uh, I, I ended up going to Tungsten Community College. I lifted a little bit of weights in my uh, basement. Nothing serious, just a little bit of weights in my basement. And um, what happened then was I left college in my second semester and I joined the United States Marine Corps. Uh, since September 11th, I mean, growing up, I was always playing with action uh, figures and G.I. Joes and heroes like that. But September 11th happened, I remember it clear as day. And I wrote a letter. I was only 11 years old. I went home and I wrote a letter that night. And I, I put it up 
in my bed behind the, I had a little cabinet and I put it in there and it was explaining how when I got old enough, if the war was still going on, I wanted to join the military and serve my country. Well, as I got older, you know, I narrowed down the branches and of course, you know, if you want to join the military, I mean, people join different branches for whatever reasons, but I figured go hard or go home because that's my mentality. Go hard or go home. So I joined the Marine Corps. Not, no disrespect to any of the branch, you know, you all have your special forces and uh, special ops like that, but the Marine Corps means the few, the proud, the Marines, you, I guess you, you know, you, you can't really understand it unless you experience some level of it. <clears throat> Anyways, I joined the Marine Corps, um, I ended up uh, shipping out uh, March 23rd, 2009, and I came home June 1st, 2009. 19 days prior to my platoon's graduation, platoon 3040 India Company, 3rd Battalion, Paris Island, South Carolina. Um, what happened was, I, I, when I was in high school, I, I, I wrestled in high school and I picked up a, a staph infection. Many of you may know what it is, some of you may not. It's called MRSA, MRSA. It's resistant to a lot of, um, a lot of the uh, antibiotics. And everybody was you know, freaking out because it was a super bug. Well, anyways, I thought I was over. I enlisted into the Marine Corps, and uh, when I was on the rifle range, I came down with MRSA. So I ended up getting uh, medically, well, med for, discharged for medical reasons. Uh, my, my actual separation code, if you would like to look it up, was JFV1. Again, JFV1. And my reenlistment code is RE3P. Um, I mean, every single day I, I, I wake up and I go to bed dreaming and thinking and wishing to be a Marine. That's another one of my goals. Um, and until that door is closed for me 100%, I will not stop pursuing that. So that's another one of my goals. My ultimate goal in life for career-wise is to become uh, part of the DEA or some sort of federal agency, ideally the DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency. Um, I've always kept my nose clean on the straight and narrow. You know, a lot of my friends went this way or that way. But I've always stayed straight on that straight and narrow. Um, back to lifting. So I, I get home from boot camp um, June of 2009, and I, I lifted a little bit. I was doing like 225 pounds on a bench press for six reps, nothing big. Um, and then I ended up getting knee surgery uh, for for something. It, not I didn't pull anything. It was just I was born with it. It was like a little piece of my kneecap. They chipped it off. I'm perfectly fine now. Anyways, I get knee surgery, so that kind of sent me back to ground zero, and January 2010, I started tracking my progress. Uh, I believe I was 155 pounds in January in 2010, and now it is February uh, 2012, and I'm approximately 194, 195 pounds right now, um, five foot eight, and um, yeah, that's that's about it. So. After you know, I started getting more serious. I joined uh, Nautilus Fitness in the summer of 2010 um, for you know different reasons. I left there, and I'm now at Energy Fitness in Torrington, Connecticut, and um, I absolutely love it there. I just hit a few personal records uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, you'll have to you know you can go on their website, check them out, EnergyFitnessCT.com. Um, but today I was at the gym and I was hitting chest and. Um, you know, the owner came up to me along with one of the workers, one of my friends, uh, his name is Mike Persichino, my friend, and the owner's name is Robert. They came up to me and I was doing some uh, chest flies with dumbbells. And they were, you know, they were complimenting me, They're like, oh, how, you know, how did you, I guess, how do you have the drive or whatever. And I, I, I'm going to tell them what I, I'm going to tell you what I told them. <sighs> About a year and a half ago, I was at Nautilus and I was on the hammer strength machine for chest. And... I had on um, three plates on each side, and what happened was uh, I got it for seven repetitions. Hold on. 